The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Is it not true that in a very short time the Lebanon will become productive ground? So productive you might take it for a forest. That day the deaf will hear the words of the book, and delivered from shadow and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. The lowly will find ever more joy in Yahweh, and the poorest of people will delight in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more. The scoffer has vanished, and all those on the lookout for evil have been destroyed. Those who incriminate others by their words, those who lay traps for the arbitrator at the gate, and groundlessly deprive the upright of fair judgment. That is why Yahweh, God of the house of Jacob, Abraham's Redeemer, says this, No longer shall Jacob be disappointed. No more shall his face grow pale. For when he sees his children, my creatures, home again with him, he will acknowledge my name as holy. He will acknowledge the Holy One of Jacob to be holy and will hold the God of Israel in awe. Erring spirits will learn to understand and murmurers accept instruction. And our response from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life. Whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out his temple. This I believe. I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus went on his way, two blind men followed him, shouting, Take pity on us, son of David. And when Jesus reached the house, the blind men came up to him. And he said to them, Do you believe I can do this? They said, Lord, we do. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight returned. Then Jesus sternly warned them, Take care that no one learns about this. But when they had gone away, they talked about him all over the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord.